Hey everybody! Um, so I'm coming live today from Birmingham. I'm gonna wait for for you, uh, a couple of you guys, to get on so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm making an eggnog today, so um, I'm gonna give it, you guys a few minutes to get in there. Hi everybody! All right, so wait for a few more of you. How's everybody doing this morning? If you guys can see, I'm in a different kitchen today. Isn't that fun? Hey, Tiffany. How are you? Um, <laughs> so I am in Birmingham. Uh, we're gonna, we're here for the holidays, so it's super exciting. Um, and every year we have a Maniscalco reunion. Hey, Ashley. Good morning. Um, so we're an hour behind here in Birmingham, so I know most of you guys at home, it's like uh, almost 11, so it's almost 10 here. So anyway, either way, it's a little early for rum and whiskey, but <laughs> we're making eggnog, and um, this recipe is delicious. So I'm here in my mother-in-law or my in-law's kitchen, um, and it's super easy to make, and it's my absolute favorite. So, um, we're doing this for the party tomorrow. So, hi everyone. Okay, so there's a bunch of you on here, so we're gonna get started. So, we're doubling the recipe, okay? And I'm gonna share the recipe um, after the video. I'll post a picture. Um, and then I'm gonna actually save this to YouTube. So if you're watching this on YouTube, um, listen to the instructions right now, because I'm gonna tell you, okay? So this is from my my in-law, um, my mother-in-law Jackie, her friend Shauna's recipe. Okay, so you guys need to have this at your holiday party because this is my favorite. My sister-in-law and my mother-in-law and I, we can drink the whole thing. <laughs> and that's a party. <laughs> Hi friend! Okay, so here we go. So eggnog, I'm gonna tell you guys the regular recipe and then I've doubled it. Okay, so this is the regular recipe, 12 eggs a quart of whipping cream, a quart of milk, a quart of half and half, a pint of rum, a pint of bourbon, which is two cups of each, and then three cups of sugar, and a pinch of allspice. Okay, that's the regular recipe. But for the Maniscalco reunion, we are doubling everything. Okay? All right. Hey, Anthony. How are you? Oh, are you giving me hearts? I love you. Hi, Christine. Happy holidays, thanks. My friend Drea Adams gave this um, shirt to me, so I love this Randy. Randy is my new favorite, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so what I've done, this is the recipe. So those are the ingredients. Now I'm gonna tell you what I did. Merry Christmas, Kim, you're gonna love this recipe. I will tell you guys, between the half and half and the milk and the heavy whipping cream, or the whipping cream, it's not very good for our waistline, but <laughs> it's delicious and totally worth it. It's probably a meal all by itself. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So remember, I've doubled everything here. So we did, I did tw uh, 24 eggs, so I've separated them, and we have some big bowls here. But I did use, my mother-in-law, I gave her these bowls a few years ago, and of course she loves them. Um, so our stainless mixing bowls, this is the largest, and then this is the medium. And what I've done is I separated the eggs. So the yolks are in here, the egg whites are in here. And then I whipped the egg whites, okay, to like a really soft peak. Because if they're too stiff, they're gonna separate and you don't want that. You want a very light and fluffy, uh, velvety, smooth eggnog, okay? I feel like I'm on a cooking show right now at this kitchen. <laughs> okay, and then I use the smaller uh, stainless to measure the sugar. Because remember, I doubled it, so there's six cups of sugar. Like I said, not good for our waistline, but delicious nonetheless. Okay, so I separated the eggs and I whipped up the uh, with our with a um, just a hand mixer. You can use a KitchenAid if you want to um, soft peaks for the egg whites. The egg yolks are over here. Over here in this huge bowl, because this is the eggnog bowl. It's humongous. If you guys can see it, it's humongous. Um, I put all of the uh, whipping cream in here and I have whipped it just a little bit. You don't want it like whipped cream. You just want it very, very light to get it all airy. Okay. So then we're going to add everything to this bowl. Okay. 
So we're gonna add our egg yolks. So um, I will tell you guys that I was not a fan of eggnog before this recipe, because I was like, ew, that's gross. I'm gonna be drinking eggs, that's disgusting. But let me tell you what, after you add all the sugar <laughs> and the cream and the liquor, you totally get over that egg, that whole egg feeling, okay? So you don't even know it's in there. So I just added the egg yolks. I have six cups of sugar. Remember, we're making a lot, okay? We are doing, we're doubling, so I have a whole half gallon of half and half, all right? And I already have the heavy whipping cream, or the heavy cream in here. And then I have two quarts, which is a half gallon of regular milk, okay? So if you guys missed the ingredients, don't worry, I'm gonna post it. But if you're watching this on YouTube, remember I always, I always share all my videos on YouTube. So if you guys ever miss a video, you can always look me up on YouTube. Um, and one of my accounts, I have all of my Facebook videos. So we're just gonna whip this for just a second so that sugar incorporates. So just give me one second and those eggs incorporate all that stuff. And then comes the liquor. How are you guys doing? It is a little Randy Lamette. Isn't it super cute? My friend Drea gave it to me. Alright, here we go. Eat from with. Alright, so that is that. And then we're gonna add the milk. This is why it's important to use a really big bowl. <laughs> okay, I know Maria, we're feeding a lot of people. We're feeding a lot of people tomorrow. At the Maniscalco, Re Maniscalco reunion, there's normally like 50 or so people. So, and this is the first thing to go because it's delicious. So I added the milk. I'm gonna add the liquor. So I was told by my mother-in-law not to double the liquor um, at home or for our own party here. We would totally double the liquor, but there's gonna be, um, a whole array of people tomorrow. So we won't, we don't want people to get drunk and drive home. Okay. So we are just gonna do half the liquor, but what it is, is, um, a pint of rum and a pint of, um, bourbon. Okay. So I've already measured that out and now it's in there. So I'm just going to make sure I get all these egg yolks. I can't wait for you guys to make this at home. Your family's gonna love you. So just whisk all that together. Now we're gonna add a pinch of nutmeg, which we're gonna need a couple pinches because we doubled the recipe. Hi everyone. Oh wait, this one's not open yet. Hold on. I'm sure my mother-in-law has another one. She does. Okay. Is this one open? Yay. So we'll just do a couple sprinkles of nutmeg. Can't have eggnog without nutmeg. Oh, we're making eggnog, Cindy. Welcome, welcome to our party. Okay, so here are the egg whites. Okay, so I'm gonna just put half of them in and my mother-in-law might hurt me because I might have flipped them a little too much, but it's okay. I'm gonna whisk them in and that will hopefully help the situation. We are making eggnog. Oh my gosh, it looks just as yummy as I remember it. So we're gonna whisk all this in. All right, we're gonna add the rest. You guys. Hey, Ned, how are you? All right, here we go. Holy cannoli, that's a lot of eggnog. That's why you have to use a huge bowl, okay? So give me one second, and I'll run over the ingredients one more time for those of you that missed it, and then I'm gonna try it, okay? Make sure it's delicious. And make sure we have all of our ingredients in here. I think we do, and it looks amazing. All right. 
think we're good. Alright. Holy smokes, you guys. Yeah. Make sure I have all my ingredients. I did everything. Okay. So we have 12 eggs, a quart of whipping cream, a quart of milk, a quart of half and half, pint of rum, pint of bourbon, three cups of sugar, and a pinch of allspice. But remember, I doubled everything, okay? So we took the egg, we separated the egg whites and the egg yolks, for those of you that are just joining us. Um, excuse me, I took the, the hand mixer and I did the egg whites until they were very soft peaks. <laughs> and then, let me get a cup. And then we um, whisked the, uh, the cream a little bit, added everything to the, the cream, uh, even the egg yolks, put it all together, sprinkled some uh, nutmeg. Let me, get a, let me get a cup. Ooh, this is perfect. I'll use this little guy. You guys all know what this is, right? Okay, it is the biggest batch. Yes. Let me get a cup. Amazing. Yes. Nice and frothy. So there's plenty, so I can try it, right guys? Cheers. Mmm. It's perfect. Okay, I'm gonna turn you guys around so you can see this big old bowl. Look. <laughs> yes. So that is our, it's huge. The bowl is humongous. It's holding like, I don't know, two gallons of eggnog. So you guys, I hope you have a great holiday. Thanks so much for joining. If you missed some of it, go back and watch it. I'm gonna get the, um, the eggnog into some containers so we can transport it to our party tomorrow. And um, I hope you guys have a great holiday. I'm sure I'll be back maybe throughout the week uh, doing some live videos for my in-laws. Um, or maybe not. I don't know. But I hope you guys have a great holiday if I don't talk to you soon. And um, a happy new year. So I hope you guys have a great day. All right. Bye. Oh, and if you make this, you need to post uh, your results and let me know how you like it. Okay. Bye, guys.